what I love about sketches is you can just sit there and copy them and learn. I like that. Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another click look video where we look at various art books and magazines and this one here, as long as they've sent me the right one, it should be a new art book called Character Design Collection Heroines and it's this is the first in a new series of art books by 3D Toto Publishing and I'll put a link in the description everything so you can go and get it this one only came out a couple of days ago and I actually pre-ordered it and it got delivered and I thought oh, I can't wait for this so the thing is 3D Total Publishing makes some of my favourite books and magazines, art magazines so one of my favourite books is called the Sketching from Imagination series and look at the size of these look they're really fat and what it is is you get 50 different artists and they basically share their sketches on certain topics so this one here is all about characters and it's all from the imagination and this one's about anime and manga but there's look at this look there's loads of them there's loads of these books how many is there one two three four five six seven there's seven of them so far this one is a new little series and i'm hoping it's going to be as good as these the thing is um, the first impression was it's a bit thin <laughs> That's what she said. Look at look how thick that is. Look how thin this one is from the thing. But the thing, well, little Betty's here with us. De -de -de. She can't wait for it. She's got to do it. She's got to get us in here. She's struggling a little bit. Boing! Inside we go. What colour is it? I think it's yellow on the website. But what what colour is it here? Ah, uh, here we go. Look, it's just like the image. Oh, I like the size of it. it. Oh, yeah. I like that. Oh, I wish you could feel it. It's got a... Wow, this is amazing. The the cover feels nice and smooth. And then when you go over there... Oh, that's beautiful. There's like a little bit of rubber on the, on the writing there. I love that. Look at this, look. Look at all the characters, all the females. <laughs> I can't wait for this. Character Design Collections Heroines by 3D Toto Publishing 50 professional artists 50 unique heroines 50 inspirational libraries of original sketches and poses So this looks like each artist is going to focus on one character That's cool because in these ones each artist has loads of different characters So that's why this one's thicker I suppose but let's get into this. Little Betty's going to let us in. Can't wait for this. I hope you enjoy. Look. Look how professional 3D Total Publishing is. It's what I love the most about their, their art books. Is that they, they have a way of putting things together that's just perfection. What one, what one of these stands out to me? I like that one. We really like that. Look at that, look. It's a collection of blob blobs. <laughs> this one came out 2021. It came out about, I think it came out on the 1st of June. So only a couple of days ago. Look, that's nice, isn't it? One tree planted for every book sold. That's quite cool. Look. Here we go, look. This is the contents. So we've got 50 different artists. Each doing a little different character. A little, a little female character as well. We've got a mermaid, fairies, athlete scientist. What's over this side? Dragon trainer, that'd be cool. Weather superhero, <laughs> stunt woman. Cool. It's got the name of the little artist there as well. Which is nice. Oh, I love this. Introduction. So we've got a little introduction by Felipe. Philippa. Philippa. Philippa Barker. That's the editor. I like that. I like it when you get a page of 
poses. Oh, this is brilliant. This is this is just what I wanted. Oh, this is cool. Look, we're getting the same character, but drawn in different. Well, it's that this is different. Loads of different characters, but the same character. <laughs> it's a dragon trainer. Loads of different types of dragon trainers. Cool. They talk about the chosen design. Why they're talking? About it was it. And yeah, look, we get a little backstory as well. This is cool. I like the way it's all colour coded as well. Look. I wonder if they're all green. Oh, this is brilliant. So this one's green. So all the little detailing is green. Again, it's things like that that I love about 3D, 3D Toto. Look. So many characters on each page. You could you could just um, what I love about sketches is you can just sit there and copy them and learn. I like that. So we get we get the name of the artist. We get the name of the character they're doing. Yeah, this is a little backstory of the character. What's this say here? Look. Sketch captures. So they're talking about each some of them. Talking about the thumbnails. <laughs> Laughter. Cool. Look at the um motion in that. Yeah, I like the friendship between her and a dragon. This is a vampire hunter. So this one here, the dragon trainer, was by the artist Martin Abel. Vampire Hunter is by Chris Abels. This is another thing I love about books full of like sketches and characters is every artist is different. So you get loads of different types of characters. Medieval Knight by Amagura Egeriri. If you want to know the names of any of these, let me know in the description. I'll, I'll find the website and stuff for them. I love the way they put little bits of colour on it. It's cool that is. Even seen like the structure of the poses. I like that pose. Fire superheroine by Ahmed Adori. Oh, I love that. I like that, look at that there. I like a little hand. Just touching the... Hey, look. <laughs> How cool is that? Looks pretty cat. Oh, it's cool. We go right through the process of the character coming to life. Yeah. And the thing is, oh, look how different these characters are. This is a space medic by Dado Armiridia. What I love is, each, each artist not only has different characters, they have different process as well. So you're actually going like, to learn the process as well. <laughs> look at that little sticky note. Avoid using overly generic poses. You should always adapt and develop a pose to fit your character and their story. That's what they say in the articles. They're always talking about the story. What's that? What's that word there? Look, Safrugi. I don't know what that is. It's a very posh lady, character lady. Safagiti by Olga Olgerindis. <laughs> Olga Olgeriskins. She looks very... She looks very sort of, um, what's that word, like, naughty, well, what's the spoiled child, that's it. She looks like a spoiled child. Weather Superheroine by Brett Bean. 
I'm sure I've heard of Brett Bean before. Mr. Bean. <laughs> Mr. Bean. I like that one. I like the shape of it. Cool, these are. Nice big fat shapes, look. Oh, these are nice as well. Reminds me a little bit of um, Professor Layton. This is The Inventor by Alison Berg. Oh, I love that one. Look at that, look. How cool is that? <laughs> it's quite cool, it's like funny. It's brilliant, this is. She leans forward, showing her enthusiasm for her plans, as well as her slight difficulty carrying them. I bet that goes into it, yeah, because she's an inventor. I like that one as well. Dystopian Survivor by Tano Bonfanti. Yeah, look at that, look. Sticking her tongue out. Cool. Look at all these, look. A bit like she's turning into a mutant. Summoning courage. I like that. I like that one. Oh, that's interesting. Look, different angles. Yeah. Don't forget to explore poses from above and below, using foreshortening to achieve the correct proportions. In this classic hero, hero pose. She raises her weapon in triumph. I like that. Oh, I like that. Look at that. What I like there is you've got the, the curvy with a straight. You've got two straight. Yeah, it's like it's all pointing towards there, look. I would have gone with that one. She went with this though, look. Nice shapes. Psychic Superheroine by Laura Brett Bragger. Oh, look. Pregnant. She's got a little face mask on. <laughs> this. Hint of blue. Animal Superheroine by Devon Bragg. Cool. I have to speed this up a bit, I think, because otherwise, <laughs> that's the thing. When a book like this, you really need to sit and look at it. The Witch by Eva Cabrera. Oh, she might be my favourite. Look at this one here. The one in the middle with the pointy hat. And look at this one as well. This one here, look. Little cutie. I like the little pose. I think she's my favourite character so far, the witch. This is the other thing, you can actually go and look for these artists, see their other artwork. Oh, I like that pose. Oh, and that pose. What a brilliant pose. The diagonal line of action stretches from the tip of her hair down to her left foot, creating a dynamic action pose. She uses her powers to fight for justice. I would have gone with that one, I think. Or that, no, that one. I would have gone with that one. Oh, look. <laughs> I like the um, proportions of these ones. Oh, little mouse, little mouse, look. Dancer. This is The Dancer by Laura Castrini Castrinilu. Oh, she's nice. I like these little guys here. See, those are the things I'd copy. I'd, I'd copy those. I like this one as well. There's loads of motion in these poses. I love the way they do that little bit of colour. Oh, I like that. 
The Bird Superheroine by Dom by Thomas Cam Camberlain. Hey, sorry about these names. I'm very I'm not very good at reading names. Yeah, it's like they've merged a bird with a a human. I like that one. Oh, this this book is Stunt Hero by Sandra. This book is actually going to be one of my favourite, I think. Character design collection. I can't wait for more of these. Sexy. Look how sexy she is. All of those are. I love that. Look how long her legs are, look. Oh yeah, she's my favourite. <laughs> she's a bit like Lara Croft, she is. See again, this is another artist I'd look into. Sandra Cluso. Look at that face as well. That's brilliant. The Sea Pixie by Sarah Cordan Cordensi. Look, a fatty, a fat mermaid. I've never seen a fat mermaid before. I quite like that. Because normally mermaids are always slim. Oh, these, these are a little bit anime. A little bit like an anime character. Forest Imp by Russell Del Sicorno. Look, it's got a cactus sword. How cool, how genius is that? You're bringing nature into their weapons as well. And I like the fact that they use green with this one. The green of nature. Oh, look, another... Look how cool she is. Look, look how heavy that hair looks. I love that. And that one. Animal Super Heroine by Mad Mad Madeline Diana Nova. Oh, she's nice. Not sure about the nose, but I love the feeling in that one. She she reminds me a bit of um, Amy Thunderbolt, one of my inspirational models. She's a cosplayer called Amy Thunderbolt. Teen superheroine by Jackie Troco. Another one with a face mask. <laughs> it's quite weird, isn't it? There must be about... Well, let's have a look. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. Let's say there's 30 per page. Well, let's say there's 60. Let's say there's 50 for each character, for each artist, that means there's going to be, what's that, 50 times 50, what's 50 times 50, 5 times 5 is 25, 2,500 sketches in here, that's mad, Ancient Egyptian Warrior, by Marta Garci Nerona, I like this one, Oh, I like that. <laughs> She's very pretty there. I like those. Samurai by Leo Gomez. What I like is how different the designs are. You got some that are like. She's quite old. Some of these are. Slim, fat. They're all different, but they're, they're still the same character. It's quite weird, isn't it? Persian Princess by Tarani Kamiri. She's pretty as well. 
I like how she's done the faces, look. It's just like little basic shapes. I like how there's a lot of fat characters in here. Fat females. Ancient Greek Goddess by Margus Kinhusi. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Just trying to say names. I like that. But Archaeologist by Lisan Kodri. <laughs> oh. That's weird, these two are the same, I think. That's got a different outfit. Oh, that's cool. Like she's got a tail. Super stretchy super heroine by Cass Cassie Co. Again, very sort of anime. This one. God, look at the um. Look at that look. But that was hard. Mad. What's this? Array Nought by Jordi Lefebvre. Yeah, again, this is a. I can imagine this in an anime or something. A character in an anime. I like that. Confidence. Confidence, but also a bit sort of clumsy, I think. She's a sort of character. She's a sort of character who's going to get involved in lots of crashes, <laughs> but she's always going to survive. Oh, look, a mermaid by Jacqueline de, Lu de Leon. I love this book. Look at this mermaid here. Look. She's got wet hair. Again, there's a lot of weight in that. What beautiful shape that is. Oh, look, little cool plant superheroine by Sayo's Sayo Lou. I love how different the characters are, that's what I love. She's a little fatty as well. We likes our little fatties, but <laughs> cat's touching the red. Look, I like that. Oh, I love that. <laughs> That's funny as well. Yeah, there's funniness in these characters. In this little character, the botanist by Cora Louise. I'm not sure, but I don't. That's not my favourite. Looks a bit like she reminds me of someone. This one. Who is it? it reminds me of someone from a cartoon from my cat, my childhood. This one. I like the way they got all the plants over there. Coming out of the look, plants coming out of the clothing. Water Super Heroin by Grutel Lusky. Again, another conf confident character, this one. I love that pose. And that, look, look how different these are. This is her at work, this is her at home relaxing. Little fairy, Potassia MS. 
Oh, I love that hat. Like a, like a pin. Cool, this is. Confident. The Vigilante by Maria Lea Maladrus. Maladino. What a cool name. Maria Lea Maladino. Maladrino. Another one with a face mask on. Yeah, actually, a, a vigilante probably would have face masks on, I think. Wild West Outlaw. Marvi Manzoni. Little character. <laughs> I like that. Interesting character that one. Elfin Archer by Anna Mariga. I like that one. It says her figure needs to be aerodynamic and graceful. This eliminates more curvy and weighty body shapes. Ah. Uh -huh. I like that one as well. Wonder what a hmm. Yeah, I like that. Look, it's just about to pull out a, an arrow. Oh, I like these. I like these. There's lots of nice poses in here. Rockstar by Valentino Milosevic. Look at the textures on that, look. Good textures on these characters. Yeah, they're really good at doing textures, I think. Cool. The Pirate by Oliver Aldmark. Female Pirate? Oh, yeah, I like that. I like her outfit, look. Look at her little outfit. Because there's a bit of sexy going on there. I can imagine her ripping that dress off. <laughs> yeah, I like that. You can imagine her in a fight, that's going to get completely ripped. No, I wouldn't. I would have gone with that one. What's he say, look? Her fashion sense is extravagant yet practical. Her pirate outfit combines a western style frilly blouse with simpler yet exotic pan pants, alluding to her world travels. I wouldn't have gone with that one, I would have gone with this one. Mad, isn't it? The little gestures as well. Super Stretch Super Heroine by Tonico. Pantoji. I wonder if the uh, artist chose the character or whether 3D Talk Publishing gave them the character to draw. I'd be quite interested about that. But they're not very stretchy, are they? Ah, strength. <laughs> Super strength. Yeah. Big muscles. I thought it was a stretchy one. I like that one. Very angular, makes it a bit more masculine. The, ge the Geisha by Yuan Park. That's a nice one. This, uh, this book would be brilliant to just copy all the sketches. That's nice as well, look. I like that shape there, look. The Shaman by Valentino Varp Posh. Oh, I like that. Look at the bum, look. Curvy bum with the straight. 
Oh, I like that one as well. It's almost like she's levitating. I like this character a lot. Gothic superheroine by Stephanie Pepper. Stephanie Pepper. What a cool name. They're all different, aren't they? Very sort of weird. More realistic. They played around with the proportions as well. I wonder what they went with. Mm. I think I would have gone with one like that. That's a cool one. The Rogue by Guelli Rant Mansell. Love the nose on this character. Look at the nose there. Oh, that's cool, that one. Look at the bendy leg. What a cool little character that is. Oh, I like that. I always like it when you get air wrapping around. That's the scarf though, isn't it? I think it might be the scarf. She almost looks a little bit like a male. The Aztec Warrior by Almo Redondo. These almost look like symbols. I like that hat. I like this one. I like that. No, I like I like things like that. And that one. Look at that one there. It's cool, isn't it? That's my mum that is going to the toilet if you can hear that. <laughs> How funny is that? The Athlete by Joachim Redinger. Oh, I like that hat. Casual. Nice and casual. Bubblegum. Again, lots of motion in those ones. The Scientist by Stephanie Wiseau. Oh, that's nice. Look at that, look. That is cool. I hope she picks him with... Oh, I like the one they went with. I still think I would have gone with that one. Hmm, and that one. That's cool as well. The Inuit Hunter by Ria Renato Roldan Ramis. I like that one with the mask on. The, the mask. The Inuit. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I really like that. I like the... Paint on her face. Alien Warrior by Justin Ruffalo. Cool. I start by experimenting with human designs like this one before transitioning into more alien features that allow for more stylization. I like that hat. She's a bit like, um, I think it was like, there was a video game called Fear Effect on the PS1. I'm sure she looks a bit like one of those characters. Yeah, I suppose she does look like an alien. Human alien. Oh, she's nice. The Snake Charmer by Noor Sophie. <laughs> oh, I like that one. Look at their little shapes for the for the legs, look.
I like this one as well. I like all of these. Oh cool, look at that little outfit there, look. <laughs> Same pose, different. I love that one. It's nice and simple. Cool. I like that one. Energy Superheroine by Eva Stocker. By Eva Stocker. Again, nice simple shapes. I like that. Alien Empress by Gary Valerino. Ballerial. Very scribbly. Yeah, he's sketching, he's very scribbling. And that one. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Everyone's. Everyone's different. Elvin Princess by Erica Wiseman. Love the ears. Oh, I like that one, little one. I hope they went with a little one. Yay! But they went with a little one. Cutie. I like that. Oh, yay! I love, I love it when they do that as well. You get all the little people, look. So these are our little artists that was in this one. YouTuber and concept artist, look. She's sexy. Brett Bean, there's Mr. Bean, look. Mr. Bean. Alison. He looks cool. He looks like a movie star, he does. Tano. She's sexy as well. Nice eyes. Devin Bragg. Oh, don't put a face mask on. We don't like the face masks. Sandra. Hello Sandra. Sarah. She's pretty as well. Russell. We like Russell. Oh, they're very, very pretty aren't they? People. <laughs> Leo. He looks cool. I like her style. Cassie. I remember Cassie. Geordie. Oh, this is cool because you can actually see all the artists now. So you can go and visit their websites. How nice is that? Oh, that's a pretty picture. That's here. Lots of sexy people in here. Oliver. Hello. Ballerine. Stuff. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Mysterious. A mysterious artist. And our final ones. He looks happy. Hello. I've seen. I've seen them before. Yeah, I've seen them in the. Uh, one video. Hey, look at that, look. Huh, that's mental, that is. Justin. Little Justin. Oh, she's pretty. Here's Mr. Gary. And we finish with Erica. I actually got that book. I did a, what do you call it? A click look at that one. I'll put a link in the description if I remember. <laughs> 3D Total Publishing. Learn, create and share. I like that. And that's the end of it. Little Betty enjoyed that a lot. Boing! I think for me, well, I actually think these are going to be... I think these are going to be used a lot more by me than these ones. Only because there's so many sketches in here. You could turn to any page and just copy the sketch. And I like, I like the way you get little... 
little tips and stuff. But I was a bit think I was a bit thinking to myself, why didn't they just make another book called Sketching from the Imagination Heroines? But I see now these are two actually very different books. So they could make a Sketching from the Imagination Heroines and it would actually be different than this one. This book is really interesting. It's all about one character coming to life, talking about the process, but it's, it's focused mainly on the the characters, which I like that. Whereas this one here, there's a lot more text in here, look. Yeah, it, it's weird, isn't it, how different these books are. Whereas I thought they'd be, both be the same. I hope you enjoyed that though. I can't wait. I want more of these. I want one called Character Design Collection Animals. That'd be nice. Uh, you could just make millions of these. Animals, robots, sci-fi things, monsters, aliens. You could go on forever, I think, with these. I hope you, did. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> I'll see you later for another one.